Okay, hello guys. So today we'll be talking how to achieve diamond in season 10. We'll talk about 10 reasons why you might not be getting your desired division. Um, this will be a pretty short video, I would say. It's not going to be long and I hope you enjoy it. So the first one, uh, for the first reason you might not be like, getting a higher rank is because you aren't playing enough ranked games. Let's say, um, for example, you should play at least five hours a day, possibly seven if you want to achieve diamonds in season 10 because the competition is growing very fast and it's quite difficult. Also, there are definitely going to be games where those games are out of your control and you're going to have a bad teammates and lose either way if you're fat or not fat. So definitely you should be playing more games. And yeah, let's move on to the second thing. You're pre you're pre pre <coughs> sorry, excuse me. You're playing too many champions and roles. If you want to climb effic efficiently and be successful, you should main one single role. And possibly have a second where you're at least decent at like at least you're sure you won't feed the enemy team like a second row but you must stop playing a lot of champions and roles focus on a single row and and and, and how to develop and grow as, as a player also you should main only three champions at the beginning play only three champions possibly only one if you can like don't one trick don't like one trick a lot of champions because as you go higher you need to have a bigger champion pool so try not so one trick but you don't play a lot of champions possibly three four and that's it and we're talking about diamond not about you know personally uh my pick is diamond 190 98 op currently i'm staying on diamond zone at us server okay and the second one the second reason you need to do is um you're dying too much let's say you're just farming and not not not, not looking at the minimap you, you shouldn't do that because you'll die eventually from the jungler so be careful and don't die always watch the minimap number four you're not listening to advice from better players i had a friend who's bronze who was bronze actually he wouldn't listen to my advices when i was trying to teach him how to play a better league of legends and he was doing his own stuff and after a time uh, he started understanding more because I, w I was always talking to him about stuff and he improved a lot so if you if you know someone that's better than you in league listen to to him also you can always go on reddit and you know learn a lot of things ask questions from other players at a high division and yeah you should listen from to advices from other better players okay let's let's talk about macro macro is very important you have to know when to make the right decisions and when not to go for kills and when to go for kills late game usually you shouldn't go for for, for picks because objectives objectives are more and more important but if that Q might help you secure the objective, then you should definitely go for it. But you should be very thoughtful of your macro and improve it. You should, you should go and search on Google what's macro in League of Legends. This is just, 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 just a quick video to give you some tips. Okay, let's move on to the final five fundamentals. So you cannot improve in League without having a good fundamentals. You need to improve your CSing. Arresting in lane, positioning, vision, wards, map awareness, team fighting, knowing your role, positioning targets, priori prioritizing targets, peeling, and others like objective control, timing, game knowledge, cities, and abilities. So you have to know all of that, like almost perfectly, because those are the basic things in League of Legends. If you know, if you know, like the in ins and outs in those things, you will improve a lot. Okay, so second one will be tilt. 
you know, we, we all have those games where someone unlocks Nunu support with Cleanse and Ghost and turns down the map. This, uh, this could be very demotivating and kill motivation. But you should have a strong mental one to improve on that. Like, be thoughtful of yourself, be self-conscious and don't let the tilt consume you. Because if that happens, it will, it will affect your climbing in a lot of ways. So don't do that. Okay, let me just help you out here. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this over here, <clears throat> here are your fundamentals, you can see them on your screen, you should learn about those things, you can always find another YouTube videos or read them on Reddit and Google, you no, know, you can always find a the source, they're, they're very they are available everywhere. You shouldn't tilt as well. You should have a strong mental. Strong mental is like one of the most important things in League of Legends. If you have that, you can achieve everything. Okay, the meta. Sometimes you want to play Ivern ADC, but that's not the way. You need to always learn the meta, probably pro guides or somewhere else. You should always watch the meta, read the patch notes, and not play uh, press attack Zoe on mid lane because that's not going to get you anywhere. Okay, so on the, f the last and the final but not least step is watch LSC, LCK, OPO, LCS players, and all the pro players. You can find them on Twitch or anywhere. Watch those challenger players how they when they stream and how they play the game. You can always learn from them. So remember, you watch players, don't tilt fundamentals. You should be good to go. Also, consistency. You should be consistent in the game. Play. Possibly quite a few games until you reach a diamond, and then you're probably set. But yeah, this is for me. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one.